Hey everyone, I am back with another card making video. This is just a random hello card that I wanted to put together. I have been coloring some of these little CC Designs Swiss Pixies and so just decided I would put her on a card. Um, so everything is pre-cut and pre-scored and all that stuff ahead of time. So this is going to be an A2 size card. So I cut at four and a quarter by eleven and scored it at five and a half. So that is that. This green mat. This came in a pack of Recollections paper. Um, some different green tones, I think it was. And so this is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach that first. And I put away the little pad of 6x6 six six paper that I got the pattern paper from, but I'll grab it. So just like that, let me grab that little pad. Okay, so I got this little pad at Walmart a while back. Um, it's a 6x6. Six these are the little prints in here. <coughs> Excuse me. So the one that I took out, I guess, is in the back. <laughs> that one right there. So I used that piece. So there's some really cute kind of spring summery prints in there. So I did this one and I cut this at four by five and a quarter. These are really thin. They're like copy paper sheets, which is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just attach this. Just like that. And then I used my which one is this? My Labels 25 Nestability Dies. I used this second largest one here. So that's this one. And what I did is I stamped and then colored the little spring bench right here from CC's De CC Designs. And then I cut it out using the die. And then I took the die and I traced it to get the larger So I can layer it like this. So that's how I did that. And I do have a list of colors that um, I used. So these are the colors I used for all of my coloring, in case you guys want to pause and check that out. And these are Spectrum Noir um, alcohol markers that I used. So I used them for her and the bench. So I'm going to go ahead and layer the bench. Now I did, well, the bench piece. Um, I did ink around it with some Memento Summer Sky. So if you can see the blue around there. I'm going to go ahead and layer this. Onto this green piece here. that and then I'm going to go ahead and center this right on the front of this card and then I'm going to do some stamping so I have this little sentiment it says, hello, sweet friend, right here. And this is from the Six-Sided Sampler from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to use my stamp -a jig So I've already stamped it on my little sheet here. 
And I'm just going to stamp that down here. And then I'm going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and go ahead and stamp this right on the front of this card and try not to mess up. So just like that. I tend to go a little slow when I'm using the Stampin' My Jig because I'm a afraid that I'm going to move. <laughs> it's going to be totally offset. So there's my little stamped part. It says, hello, sweet friend. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some dimensionals and I'm going to pop her up on that little bench a little bit. I think I need very many so the way that she's sitting. So let me go ahead and get this put on there. And for her little pigtail things, I did tie some twine into little tiny bows and put them on the bottom part of her hair. And I used an old retired twine from Stampin' Up! called Lucky Limeade. I thought the green matched pretty well. So I'm just going to get her sitting on the bench. Just like that. And I'm going to take some little rhinestones these little rhinestones here and I'm going to put those um, I'm just gonna put like on these little points here I think I don't know I didn't plan this part out very well <laughs> I just figured I would just kind of see well they're kind of big so I'm gonna grab my little tiny ones actually I still think it would be cute. So here are my little tiny ones, the alphabets. And I'm just going to cut them apart using my little craft knife here. Go. Those are a little smaller so they look better. Keep sticking back on the paper. There we go. more on the bottom. And then this card is basically done. You can stamp, you know, whatever you like on the inside or whatnot. These are not wanting to come off the little thing today. Come on. And these ones are super sticky. Keep sticking. Almost got it. I don't know why they are so sticky. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, so they'll stick to the card, but 
is having trouble getting them off the sheet. There we go. Okay, that took a minute. So, <laughs> that is the card right there. And then, like I said, I have a list of the, the colors that I use to color her and her skin, her hair, her outfit, shoes, bench, grass, and the butterfly. So that is right there. And the little girl that I use, I did forget to mention, is... Her name is Cute Vegeta, and she's this one right here. So, super cute. Love them. So, that is my card for the day, and I hope you guys like it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!